Starting tonight, a local <laughs> university is providing swimming lessons for a group of minority children. The lessons are a way for Hampton University to reach out to the community and expose kids to water safety. 13 News reporter Joe Flanagan was on the HU campus today. And Joe, this is all about the drowning statistics. It sure is, Regina. Sandra, minority children between the ages of 5 to 14 are 3.2% more likely to drown than white children the same age. The pool in Holland Hall on the campus of Hampton University is where the swimming lessons will take place. This whole idea came about when the director of aquatics here, Jody Jensen, formed a partnership with the Hampton Roads Red Cross. They secured a grant from the Virginia Department of Health Centers for unintentional injuries and violence prevention. Yes, I, I approached the Red Cross with this idea that they manage the grant and I would provide the pool and the instructors for this program. Students from nearby Hampton will come here and some students in Newport News will learn to swim at the Doris Miller pool in that city. The drowning rate is higher for open water areas, and I believe that's because of the easy access to open water areas and not having not only the ability to learn how to swim, but also having the water safety education of being able to recognize the hazards that exist. The Red Cross will supply some instructors and lifeguards. So they went into the middle schools and had the kids apply. They had to write an essay of why they would want to participate in this program and what they would get out of this program. And so that's how the kids were selected with young African American girls with their hair. They don't like to get their hair wet because of the damage that the chlorine does to their hair. So providing the swim caps and the goggles and the bathing suits to the kids that we hopefully dropped any obstacles that there might be for taking this, participating in this program. And some common sense tips from Jody Jensen include swimming in a designated area where a lifeguard is on duty and do not leave small children unattended or in the care of another child near the water. They hope to repeat the swimming course next year. Reporting live, Joe Flanagan, 13 News. That is a great program. I learned to swim just two years ago after doing a story on a similar program in Virginia Beach. See, it's a good, good story. Right. Get out there and learn to swim if you don't know how to swim. Yeah. And there's a lot more coming up. With